Um, I had two items I wanted to raise um, with the Leader of the House. Um, over the weekend, we all heard the news from RBS that um, so many more bank closures would be taking place, and I think it's 20 in Wales, yeah. uh, two of them in my constituency of Cardiff North, in Whitchurch and in the Heath um, Hospital, and already I've been contacted, and I'm sure other members have been, about what a loss this is to the community. And I know that um, RBS is saying that less people are using banking, and I'm sure that is true, um, using the bank branches, but for old, elderly and um, disabled people, it's very important that they do have a bank to go to. And of course, there's the issue of the contribution to the high street um, and the importance for local businesses. Um, so I wondered if um, we could have a statement um, for the Cabinet Secretary for the Economy about uh, this, um, this uh, further detrimental step, because we have debated this in the Assembly um, many times before, uh, but the value of these banks to the community just does not seem to be recognised. So that was the one statement I wanted. Um, and then the other issue um, was um, on Saturday, I visited um, Café Organi, which is as uh, part of um, uh, Small Business Saturday. This is a very innovative organic uh, cafe in Birch Grove in my constituency, which has just won the best cafe in Wales in the Italiana Awards. And the um, owners only actually came from Italy two years ago, and they've made a fantastic success there. So I was really pleased to visit it and highlight their achievements. Um, but it made me think that there has been a really you know, a big growth in cafe culture, and I just wondered whether it would be worth looking at the value of the cafe culture to our um, economy as well. Um, I can't resist answering that one first because I'm familiar with the cafe and I would like to congratulate them on their award, as well deserved. Um, my son uh, put, me, uh, uh, put me in the knowledge uh, on the cafe, and it, it is indeed a fantastic little place where people haven't visited yet, it yet. Um, but, you know, Italian cafes have played an enormous role in the growth of, of uh, cafe culture in Wales from, from a, for a very long time, in fact. And uh, certainly in uh, the village I grew up in, in North Swansea, the Morozzi's were uh, uh, very instrumental in both uh, kindling my love of ice cream, which possibly wasn't as good for me as it might have been, um, which, uh, which I continue to have, and also actually just in, in promoting cafe culture in general and a place to meet and uh, often discuss uh, really quite progressive politics. So I'm grateful to them for that as well. I think that they do make a big contribution to our economy, and I'm sure that the uh, Cabinet Secretary for the Economy will be taking that into account when he produces his action plan in the near future. Um, in terms of banking, I too have had, I share the members' concern about the closure of banking uh, branches. I've had a number of meetings myself with a number of the big banks around their closure policy. They do produce um, statistics about the use of branch ba branch banking and so on, and a number of them do have good policies in terms of contacting older people and people with particular problems in mobility and so on about their banking. There is an arrangement in place with post office counters in actual fact to do some banking and I, we've made representations to them I know in my previous role um, about <coughs> ensuring that the post office counter staff have the right training and that there are appropriate premises in which to conduct what might be a quite personal transaction in some cases for um, people who want to conduct banking transfers there but I don't see any reason at all why we, we couldn't uh, ask the economy, the Secretary of the Economy to make uh, our, this Assembly's <coughs> concerns known uh, again. 